Danke. Danke. Happy Father's Day, cutie. Thank you, cutie pie. Pie. Wow, what could that be? I know it. I know it too. I just spell that by. Golden. Super. Number eight. Darf ich? Jetzt kenne ich. 100 Jahre. 100 Jahre Mille. Achtung hier. Und jetzt Nummer zwei. Oh mein Traumleiber. <lacht> Which one do you like better? This is my. This is my one of my all-time favorites. I don't want to have for years. Thank you. Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to video number one thousand. I am so stoked when I realized that it's one thousand now that I was kind of gearing. I knew that I will get something really nice for Father's Day because I kind of helped pick out or pointed my uh, wife a little bit to it. We were browsing, and yeah, you saw it just in the video what I got and we'll have a closer look on that but yeah 1000 videos and in addition the 1000 video is pretty much I mean June 14th 2018 is when the World Cup started and I posted a video uh, a few a few videos just the day before the World Cup started so it's also two years since I started YouTubing for real. I do not really count what I did in 2015, although you can find it there. But you couldn't see me. It was only me talking and you saw pictures of jerseys. So I'm quite excited that, yeah, it's now this way. Um, and yeah, for two years, a thousand, that means more than, more than a video uh, per day on average, which makes sense with my review video videos that I'm doing and also during the World Cup. I almost did a video after every uh, game which is something that if the Euros were happening right now I probably would not have done but I would have tried to make something like that. In any case first of all thank you for watching uh, this video, being subscribed to, to, to my channel, liking what I'm doing. I know I don't have yet uh, subscribers that uh, will that are all that crazy but honestly I want it that way I want that people find me and I find people that are interested in what I'm doing uh, not that I get a lot of followers and they are then for um, you know they're not really into what I'm doing I want to grow it organically and you know do it and give you my first person view I mostly I always uh, uh, joke about it I do this out of therapy because I watch a lot of soccer and you know let's put it that way my wife and my girls are marginally interested so I'm not gonna talk to them for days on um, about soccer and at work yeah um, I have some colleagues that we could chat a lot but I also I could not by far cover everything so I just want to get all my thoughts out there instead of keeping them and so so, in order to celebrate a thousand videos, two years of YouTubing, I also broke the barrier. I have now more followers than follows on Twitter, which I also can, can consider kind of a milestone. Uh, Facebook page is, I actually have more quality conversations or contacts on my Facebook page. But on Twitter, I, it, it goes crazy at the moment, especially today when I posted the picture of this jersey. So in order for that, we thought it was appropriate that from the 100 year season of Milan, one of my two favorite soccer teams, although they, they're not doing all that well this, uh, this year, will get a golden jersey. 
and we get my favorite 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 third jersey this is for me the ultimate third jersey i will have a quick look at it the weird thing is that i know when this jersey came out with these white stripes i actually didn't like it at first i think i only started liking it when they won the championship in 1919 uh, the other thing is, in 99, I actually was in Milan, it was an interrail trip, and I saw, uh, you know, when you go through the Galleria, uh, from the Duomo towards the Scala, there was a Milan store there, and I went in there, and I actually wanted to get the Centenary jersey there. They didn't have it. They only had this golden jersey, and I have to say, I never really like, liked it, I especially, I was never so fond of this uh, centenary crest although I it's nice to have it so I and since I don't have gold in my collection I thought it would be appropriate to have at least a Milan jersey in golden so um, yeah the one thing I was always missing is yeah there's a little bit red it was too much black too little red uh, but it has some nice features like uh, the nice inscription Milan AC uh, it has on the inside Gento Milan, Gento Milan, and so on. Um, and then, of course, let's look at this crest. Very, very nicely done. I mean, yes, it's there, but I, I never really saw it as a must-have. But, you know, once the opportunity arose, I was happy to get that one. But there are two more. The seller that was actually selling this he had already also a third jersey uh, which was this one in black with white underarms and they are on the back but um i never liked that jersey either and he was wanting crazy money for it and then with some haggling uh, my wife and i got him down to selling us those two for 70. so this is the golden one i have to say that the star here is very nicely put on um i just put it on it's a medium you gotta get it only in that size and I have to say uh, getting it over my head that's the first jersey where I'm having a little bit hard time getting uh, it over my head because it's not very stretchy here which is something I don't have a problem with on this beauty this jersey is Bierhoff heading it home in Perugia for the, for the centenary Scudetto uh, this jersey for the first time that I saw it was um, always one of my favorites but I never saw somewhere to buy it uh, I remember seeing it we had this indoor soccer tournament in Linz um, where you know all the suppliers also, also were selling fan gear and they had it there on exhibition exactly this jersey and I always thought this is such a great Adidas design and I think it was unique to Milan with the three stripes across the chest but I never actually saw to buy it until it popped up on um, classic football jerseys for a crazy amount of money. Uh, which kind of was, yeah, I really want to have this and one of these days I will get it. But not for 150 pounds or something, something like that. I always found this a little bit outrageous. Yes, it has nice, me nice memories, but then... I never found the price itself justified. It's similar for the for my favorite Argentina 98 away jersey. There's a lot of 98 jerseys that I totally like. But uh, this, of all the black Milan jerseys they ever had, and I have uh, three of them, I want to say. Three? Two? Three. I have three. Or do I now have three? Let me see. I have the 2002-2003, I have the 12-13, and that might be, so this is my third black Milan jersey. I'm kind of so surprised, I thought I had one more. No matter, doesn't, doesn't really, but of all that I had, I always thought that this one is more the most appropriate because of the red in there. It's a true Rossonero shirt where the black just takes over. And it was also a nice contrast because this is the one that's most red. I wish that Milan would issue a red jersey again, uh, even with an inverted design like that, but I think it just makes perfect, perfect sense. I do wish that there was, like in the Real Madrid jersey here, a little, uh, you know, just an ACM or something, a, a little uh, logo. But other than that, uh, 
it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely go go gorgeous. Red and black is a very cool combination, especially if one dominates and the other one has an accent. Then uh, what I was truly surprised to see is, do you see that the black is not solid? There's a little fade into uh, the red is not solid on the edges. There's a little fade going in to the black. I'm not sure if the camera peak pe picks available, but there's a very teeny, slightly darker red stripe in 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 it, which gives it a little bit more organic feel, which is something I never really actually saw when I saw it in person. But you know, uh, minor things. I am just this. If you watch my video that I posted almost two years ago, uh, my top ten club jerseys, this was number two. You know what number one is. That will be the true centenary jersey. I hope that one of these days it pops up and I get it for a decent price and hopefully in a size that I can fit in. Medium in 98, I fit very nicely. Yes, an L or XL is probably pre preferable, but an M is, is, is good enough. Uh, small will be pushing it, but hey, let's see. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching my videos, for being a subscriber. I know it's a slow build. I'm looking forward to having more more and more people that care about what wall I do. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And here's for another 1000. See you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.